The town sure got lively real quick. That's because this festival is awesome! We won't get to enjoy a nut like this often. Let's make some nice team memories. Welcome back to Bug Fables the Everlasting Sapling. It's been a while, but in the last part we arrived in the Golden Settlement, and now we have a couple of offerings to get. We'll have plenty of time over the course of the video to talk about why it's been a while. Uh, there are good reasons, I assure you. Um, there are some not so good reasons, I suppose, objectively, um, for why videos have been delayed beyond me just taking a break. But as I said, we have plenty of time to explain that. Let's get ourselves some offerings. I believe the challenges we need to do are here. We have everyone for the eating competition. Are you ready to start? I'm ready. And it's going to be Leaf doing this one, if I remember correctly, which is cool. Welcome to this year's eating competition. The rules are simple. Mash A <laughs> to eat as fast as you can. Whoever finishes their plate first is the victor. I can mash. Here are this year's competitors. From the Hive, Chubby. Good luck. From the Ant Kingdom, Leaf. You too. And Zasp, who's come from a land far from Bagaria. Boo! Oh, Vi. With that, we are ready to begin. Give it your all for the goddess Venus. Ready, set, eat. Oh, okay. And we're off. And we win. Stop, we have a winner. That was pretty straightforward. This year's winner is Leaf. Well fought, Leaf. You were a worthy rival. Congratulations, here's your reward. You got the moon offering, an offering for the goddess Venus shaped like the moon. It feels cold to the touch. Consider joining us next year. We may, Judge. We may. Good job, Leaf. I like that it was Leaf, because it's not necessarily like the first character you would expect to enter in a competition. Nicely done, Leaf. You've done it. You've got one heck of a stomach. Thanks. It was a piece of cake, really. Looked like leaves to me. This festival was good, not gonna lie. Leaf, it's not over yet. You're going to have even more fun. We'll try, Kabu. We'll try. <laughs> You've made a friend too, Vi. This festival is wonderful. Jeez, Kabu, you should have some fun too. I'm having the time of my life, no worries. We still need one more offering. Hopefully it'll be as entertaining to get as this one. Yeah, Kabu seems like the kind of person who's just happy to be letting other people have the fun, I guess. He finds enjoyment in his friends enjoying themselves, which I can relate to. So we got the first offering. I think the other one was over here, and this guy's an exclamation mark over his head, so I, you know, I assume. Oh, uh -huh. welcome to Whack a Worm. It's 15 worms for the prize. How do I play? Easy. Every year, these pesky worms keep making holes in the aphid farms. Your goal is to get rid of all of them by hitting them before they escape. If you get close to them, they hide away, so you have to hit them from afar. Sounds like a job for you, Vi. All right, time for some beamerang action. You've got a minute to reach the goal, and don't worry about the worms. They're too stubborn. They'll keep coming back for more. Ah. Let's try some whack a worm. I'm ready. All right, let's get things rolling. Let's roll. Let's beamerang. This should be pretty straightforward. Where are the worms? There they are. If I can remember the buttons to press. There we go. That's two. Oh. Got too close to you. Three, four. And while we're doing this, I suppose this is an opportunity for me to talk about, yeah, why videos have been delayed and not coming out for quite some time. It has been like two months. Um, so many of you know I'm a university student, uh, and the last couple of months of the year have been hectic in terms of university work. Um, it's gone well. I've done well. I'm really happy with what I've managed to do. But it's been very intense, and it's been very difficult for me to manage my time and my, my sleep especially, uh, to be in a state where I'm able to record or stream. So I've been taking some personal time for myself. The other end of that is that whenever I did sit down to try and record, different tech problems would come up. I've had to reset and reinstall Windows on my PC several times, my SSD stopped working, my keyboard broke, my headset is falling apart. It's just, it's all been a mess. Did we fail? Oh, only 12? That's too bad. Oh, we'll try again, though. Just gotta remember the buttons. Keep pressing the wrong things. 
yeah, so this last couple of months has been really crazy for me. Um, I feel like I'm comfortable now and I'm in a place where I'm able to start recording again, so I'm really excited to get back to this game. Uh, I just want to thank you all for your patience. In that time off, I was thinking a lot about where to go from here, because as much as I love doing this, it's a huge commitment of time, and I have a lot of other priorities at the moment. And something that sets me apart from other Let's Players, I feel, is my production loop of recording one video, waiting and responding to feedback, and then recording the next video, rather than recording a lot of videos in bulk, which other Let's Players do. Unfortunately, it makes it very, very difficult to keep putting out content consistently at busy times of the year, such as the last couple of months, for example. And I've talked about how I don't want to become one of those YouTube Let's Players who ends up being a Twitch streamer, but I feel for that kind of content that I'm producing, live streams are perhaps the slightly better format. That said, I find live streaming really difficult and really stressful, and I really don't like how it limits who can interact with the content based on time, because if you're not there live at the stream, you can't contribute, and that's not fair. So I really don't know what the best way forward for me right now is. Okay, I think we succeeded that time. Oh, 22, you sure showed those worms who's boss. They didn't know who they were messing with. Oh, that's right. Well, here you go, lass. You've earned this. You got the sun offering. Not bad, Vi. Not bad. <laughs> I never knew a mission could be so fun. We've got both offerings now, and we should head back to Aria. Thanks, team. The festival was pretty fun, after all. And it's not over yet. Let's go, everyone. Muse, if only we could have come together. Watch over us. Yeah, in amongst all of this and Leaf making new friends and stuff, it's like, they are still very far detached from their own time, jeez. Ahem, one moment, young lady. Huh, what's your deal? That boomerang you have there, where did you find it? I, uh, I bought it? Yeah, right, you stole my automated drone boomerang prototype, didn't you, you thief? <laughs> Vi, look what you've done. One moment, please. Vi is no thief. There must be a misunderstanding. Hmm. Don't stick your horn where you ain't asked, you green stink bug. I didn't steal anything, okay? I bought it in the Ant Kingdom. Professor, please, watch your temper. Doesn't she seem to have mastered the ADBP quite well? She could be useful. Useful? How could this... Oh, wait, yes, I'm a genius. Listen up, you rascal. You can keep that prototype. If you help us gather data with some upgrade testing. You can't say no. This is what I get for buying from Shades. Fine, upgrades sound cool anyways. Hawk, give it the prototype halt upgrade. Of course, Professor. This will take just a moment. Okay, another upgrade. Your boomerang has been upgraded. You can use Hurricane Toss in battle. Professor, I've successfully upgraded the ADBP. Doesn't seem like you did anything. As if you know real science, the halt upgrade allows you to halt the prototype after you throw it. Do physics work that way? Shh, Leaf, that's awesome! Listen up, you just hold B after you toss it. That will hold the prototype in place until you release B. The kinetic energy generated by halt should be able to spin things around. That is literally impossible. In any case, we hope you'll aid our research when you can. For example, why not test the halt on that crank over there? That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> All that time spent mashing for nothing. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll do this. That's cool. Uh, this is similar to Coop's shell, the fact that you can, like, hold it if you actually hold it. There we go. Yeah, similar to Coop's shell in the Thousand Year Door. Cool, and that's how we get that crystal berry. Excellent. Oh, you opened the windmill. Thank you. No problem. Got anything for us? Vi, you... Here is something for your trouble. You've got a hard seed, a really hard seed. It can't be eaten like this, but you can try throwing it at an enemy. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll be able to enjoy the festival now. You got it, boss. This is what we came here for. Crystal Berry. I want these. <laughs> can't have them. Okay. Vi, not a thief. Mmm. <laughs> but hey, we have both offerings now. I think we've seen... So if we give Arya the offerings, we can get through to the Golden Hills. Indeed, it's been quite the festival, but we should get ready to go meet her. Let's go get that treasure! Let's go get that treasure, my favorite thing. I can relate to Kabu a decent amount, in terms of like how he deals and like what his relationship is with his friends, but um, 
I definitely share Vi's interest in treasure. Yeah, I think we've seen everything that there is to see around here. And now that we have the offerings, I think we need to just do this. Hi. The offerings. I can sense them. You've brought both. You would wish to start the ceremony then? We are ready. Very well. Only three may perform the ceremony. Two bugs holding the blessing, and I. So one of us will have to sit this out? Well, we owe the offerings to you two. You should go. No way, you haven't had any fun. You're going. Vi. Thank you. So, who will participate in the ceremony? Huh. That was very selfless of Vi. Um, I think Kabu and Leaf should do it. They seem more interested, or at least more connected to the, the goddess Venus than Vi does. Yeah, these two. Well then, we'll have to do our best. Go have fun, Kabu! Character development. Oh, Goddess Venus, may the ceremony please you and grant us a bountiful harvest for the following year. May our battle shake the earth and bring joy and dance to your roots. It's a battle? Oh yeah! This may be some good stress relief. Now, let us spar for the goddess. Okay, I'm down for a battle. We're fighting her? Alright. Oh. Why don't you get down from there? Can we... We can... Oh, we can hit the vine. I was thinking, oh, maybe we needed Vi for this, but obviously it wouldn't balance the battle in a way that, um... You could only do it with Vi. So surely we should be able to do this. Okay, so let's put Carbon in front and let's spy her first turn. Acolyte Aria. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Acolyte Aria. I cannot believe how much power her faith has bestowed upon her. Her vine platform is troublesome. I'll cut it down if I must. Oh, okay, so Kabu can do something. She's not just floating, it's an attackable thing, and we should be able to deal with it. Pop. Oof. Oh, hard mode, by the way. Okay, um... <sighs> See, Taunt just never feels useful. And we did get a bunch of other stuff, so I'm gonna try using Heavy Strike here. And just in case she does that again, let's top up Leaf. Hopefully you won't get one shot by a dive kick this time. Uh oh, is that defense up? That's defense up, okay. Um, so we won't use our big attack this turn then, I suppose. And we do need to kind of preserve our points a little bit more, which I didn't do in the spider fight. Ow. Yeah, we'll just keep on keeping on for now. Try and get through that defense. Whoop. Nah. Remembering how to block. You still have defense up. Okay. What if... Let's try this. Actually, you know what? We'll save it. We'll, we'll go one more turn, and we'll see if the defense... Oh, nice. Still hit hard. Um, yeah, the defense should go away in one turn. I thought it meant the defense would be boosted by two, but it, I think it means two turns. It's gone down to one now. Yeah, it's gone away. Okay, then let's go full offense mode. And Spicy Berry for Kabu. His attack is up. Heavy Strike. Let's do the damage. Boom. I don't... Did that do five damage before? I feel like it did five damage before. Oh, okay, we're back to this phase then, I suppose. Ow. What are you? You're healing as well. Uh-oh. Jeez, Kabu, no. Ah, oh, man, hard mode is hard. Um, we have a thing to get you up, though, don't we? We have the magic seed. All right, get up, Kabu. Okay, so when she's up on the platform, on the vine platform... She can do that diving attack, but then she comes back down to the ground again. Interesting. So, there's like a... A trade-off for her to make there. Man, I love the combat in this game. It's so deep. Oh, don't you... Okay, your defense is up. I suppose we should probably... Mm, I want to scan this thing and figure out what it's all about. Um... We might have time. I want to heal Kabu, 
Um, yeah, let's find out what this Venus bud is all about. There's something off about this creature. We can't help but feel it's a shell. How unsettling. While it's on the ground, we'll make sure to target it. Yeah. Hey, stop that. Oof. Hard mode is hard. Oh, you're asleep, so you're healing. Okay, well that's somewhat convenient. Hmm. This might be a good opportunity to taunt, since even though you're asleep, I think that just regenerates health. I don't think it, like, increases defense. I think frozen increases defense, right? So we'll make sure... Oh, don't you... This guy's in inconvenient. Uh... Right. So, we managed to keep Leaf alive. Let's get rid of you. Because you are incredibly inconvenient. You're now floating, which is fine. We have a skill for this, right? Hmm. I don't want to use the last of my skill points, but I want to knock you back down to the ground or just outright kill you. Okay, you're frozen. Ooh. Oh, you did another one! Hang in there, buddy. Hmm. Okay, we just need to get rid of this thing, because it's causing so many problems. You're gone. Um, what can I heal with? This. Fortunately, we have a bunch of items. Up you get. Okay. Oof, that block was crucial. Okay. Um... We kind of wasted the berry in the end, didn't we? We don't have enough points to... Mm. I think we have an item that heals health and points. Uh, not in that menu, we don't. Eh, let's try this. Why not? Kabu, take a nap. We need these points and, we, and you need the health, so... Let's see. Oh, you increased your defense. Inconvenient. Um... You're sleeping for a little while longer. That was the wrong button. I pressed X. <laughs> it said B. Oh no, back up there. Well, at least Kabu is doing okay on health now. Get back down here. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a balance between the battle system in this game being really intricate and also playing on hard mode. I have to think about everything that I do. Um, on every single turn. And I have to keep a lot of things in mind in pretty much every fight that I do, which I really like. I love engaging with games like this in this level of detail and attention to detail. Yes, big hit. Yeah, that definitely did the same damage, so I think we just kind of waste the spicy berry. Um, let's just do a regular attack. That was X. There we go. <laughs> Finding my way around a controller again. It's been a while. Uh, you know what? We can probably finish you. Here and now. Even through your defense. Yeah, it did five damage anyway. So I'm guessing attack and defense only apply to basic attacks and not skills. I think that's the, the difference that I'm seeing in this fight here. Interesting. Okay. Well, we did it. We got through. And that was really cool to try and do that without Vi as well. Since she's kind of the healer. <laughs> That was a fierce battle, but I am sure Venus enjoyed it. Respected Acolyte, have we earned passage to the Golden Hills? It is up to the Goddess. Oh Venus, if you enjoyed our display, please grant us passage to the Golden Hills. Nice. The path has opened. Beyond this point lies the sacred Golden Hills. Whoa, it opened all by itself? Whatever is your business there, Venus has granted you passage. W well, whatever, we did it. That artifact will be ours in no time. Soul, relaxed. Passage, open. Mission success, we'd say. Let's tread carefully, team. We're going to be heading into sacred ground. It won't be as simple as it seems. It would have been nice to get some sleep, but we can do it. No worries, we beat Snake Mouth, right? Huh, <laughs> indeed. Let's go. Okay. Well, before we go, let's see what there is to see around town. I mean, I think we've seen everything, but it wouldn't hurt to resupply after that battle. We... Can we use the inn? 
The show's finally over, but you're still free to hang out. If you're here for requests, check the board near the counter. Oh, requests. Drop my hat. Hey, um, I had a good time at the Golden Festival, but I dropped my hat somewhere. It was a gift from Mummy, and it made me confident. I really need it back. I'm in the Ant Kingdom's residential area. Okay, we'll take it. I'm up for that task. And hydration crisis. Well, that's a mood. I overslept and didn't get to pick up some supplies before my shift. If you could bring three clear waters to the Golden Settlement's aphid farms, you'd really help me out. That seems easy enough since we're right here. Again, with these quests, I'm probably just going to do them if I'm in the area and not go out of my way to do them. Unless there's ones that are like really important and urgent to do. Uh, I definitely have some catching up to do on them because we do have a lot of quests. Uh, so conveniently, we can buy clear water here. Um, so we'll buy three. I think, I think we have one, but let's buy some honey drops as well. Uh, I don't think we need anything else, right? I think that'll do. Just a couple of items stocked up. We can kind of see the hype behind the Golden Settlement. I know, right? Such a good place to visit. And on top of its beauty, the settlement provides items this region needs. Beautiful and useful. We have high respect for this place. We might have read that already. I pressed the wrong button. I was looking for that button. Oh, so we're all healed. But we're down on points. Uh, so resting would be good, but we'll be fine. Let's head over to the aphid settlement and look for the person that we need to hand this stuff to. Uh, the aphid settlement. Aphid farms. People with a quest have a, an exclamation mark. Oh, you're back there. You're in the berry farms. Hold up. Well, that's the top hat we're looking for. Um, I don't think anything else is different around here apart from you. We'll talk to you in a moment. Uh, okay, let's talk to you. So you've come. Once your fortune read, am I right? Okay. How did you... No, it's all been foretold. Well, most things, I think. Whoa, so you can see the future? Parts of it, yeah. And I can show you where stuff is. For a price. Humbug. I refuse to believe this. Hmm. Why not? It'd be so useful. If the future is set in stone and we don't control our fate, I simply disagree. So you can hate stuff, Kabu. Now, now. No need to argue. Just try my services. If it works, everyone wins. Sounds good to us. Yeah, we can get loads of treasure. It working is what would worry me the most. Oh, Kabu. Well, we're going to do it anyway, because it sounds cool. I foresaw your arrival. Kinda. For a small fee, I can help you find what you need. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's do the cheapest one. Crystal berries. You have one. On your thing. Like, are you just going to tell us about that? Ah, hama hama, chaka chaka. Show me what I want to see. Acha! Ah, yes. A reward for bringing sweets to a fishing family. Hmm. Okay. This is like an indicator of quests and their rewards, I suppose. I'll be waiting for our fated reunion. Okay, so not necessary, but nice nonetheless. I think we've seen everything there is to see around this area now. So we'll just hand in your clear water. Stay hydrated. Hey, not many explorers around after the festival. Could it be you saw my request? Yep, three clear waters, right? You'd save my abdomen if you'd fetch them for me. I'll tend to my other duties until then. I'm counting on you. Well, we have them right here. I did. There you go. Uh, yeah, there you go. And another one as well. Oh, that's just what I need. Thanks for the help. No problem. Will this medal be a good enough reward? It's only caused me trouble. You got the Heavy Sleeper Medal. This equipped ally will not be awoken up by attacks. Being asleep halves damage and heals more each turn. Ah, so it becomes sleep plus frozen, because frozen increases defense, right? We do need a good nap, so it's fine. Thanks. All right then, time to get back to work. Nice. You know what? I feel like that would turn Kabu into the biggest super duper tank. That's the wrong button. There we go. Uh, I know that we read that dialogue. We should equip that to... Medals. Wait, yeah. This one. Buttons. It's been two months, guys. That's just the wrong menu. Um, let's equip that to Kabu. That would make him a super tank if he was asleep. And there are items that put you to sleep, right? I think we used all of them. I should check. Um, yeah, we used it. But there are more items, I'm sure, like that, that we can get that will put us to sleep. That would turn Kabu into the Super Omega Tank. 
I think we've done everything we need to do in this part of town, or in this town now. Um, I already bought some supplies, probably should do some cooking, but I'm excited to see what the next area has for us, so I'm going to go straight there. Let's head out. Hmm. Kind of a different vibe with this music. It's like a Venus statue up ahead here. There's a hole. Something could fit in the hole. We still have the offerings. This item does nothing. What about the sun offering? No, okay. So we probably need items to put in that then. Hehe, <laughs> visitors. Who that? Oh, you again. How nice of the two of you to come here. Goodness. Eeh, that plant can talk. You're a talking bee. It can't count though. Huh, so there's three of you. I see. Hmm. So that's how it is. I mean, you don't have eyes. Do you have, like, tremor sense? So what brings you here? Come to take in the sights? We're here for the artifact Fame and Riches. Hm. Such reckless greed. How impure. Impure? Dear plant, we assure you there is more at play than mere riches. Yeah, right. You bugs always say the same. Nice going, Vi. If you want to get the artifact, you'll have to get to the top. Let's see if some fly traps don't eat you before then. <laughs> oh, rude. Vi, announcing openly that you are here to take treasure wasn't very smart. I, I mean, I wasn't going to lie or anything. We're sure that's the reason. Whatever, you heard it. Treasure's at the top, so let's get climbing. Let's be careful. Something feels off about this place. Yeah, the music gives a different vibe. Also, the complicated morality of Vi. There is a hole. Something could fit in here. Well, we didn't have anything for the first one, so I'm guessing... Wait, can we go off? Looks like we can go off both left and right here. Uh... Okay, let's go off left. Looks like we're just gonna have to loop back around to this area. Hello. Have we seen one of you before? Uh, bonk. Let's fight you. I think you're new. Again, it's been months. You are new, or at least we haven't spied you. So, let's attack. Bonk. Probably should have swapped Kabu in front, actually. Uh, I need to remember to do that. Whoop, here we go. And... What's Spy? It's a Chomper. Appropriate name. Chompers are the worst. They bite you really hard and even heal while they're doing it. And then they summon tinier, annoying Chompers. I'm gonna take it out before it can. Oh, no, I don't like enemies like that. Hmm, but at the same time, it's... It would be kind of cool if that was another enemy that we could spy. Tiny chompers, specifically, as opposed to just regular chompers. Hey, don't chomp me. Why are you attacking Vi? Leave her alone. Um, yeah, I almost kind of want to wait to see if it spawns new enemies. Which means we can't really do anything on Kabu's turn. Um, yeah, we'll just do nothing. And then... Just, oh, right, this thing has defense, so we're not going to do a very good job of doing any damage to it. Oh, yeah. Ah, you're healing. Hmm. Actually, yeah, maybe, um... Maybe we should just get rid of you. I'm sure there'll be other opportunities in the future. Oh, you would be alive with one HP. Okay, fine. Kabu. I'm sure there'll be other opportunities to spy those ads in the future. I don't want to spend too much time on regular battles, especially because we're playing hard mode and like, things do damage and kind of drain resources. Even just regular encounters. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going for like a 100% spy playthrough, but I would like to get as many as I can. But playing on hard mode, I have to be careful, you know, to balance my encounters. Okay, so, we ranked up, which is cool. Uh, we're doing fine for medals right now. I would like more teamwork points, I think. Leaf learned Frigid Coffin. Ooh, another new skill. We've gotten so many new skills. You found a crunchy leaf. And uh, we got some berries as well. And I think it's probably a good time now to wrap up for today, so... 
let's first, let's read some stuff, I suppose. Um, because it's been a while. The Golden Festival. When the flowers bloom and the harvest begins, the Golden Festival is sure to be celebrated. Folks from all over Bulgaria congregate to enjoy the festivities, and they offered that joy to the goddess Venus. Traditionally, the sun and moon offerings are given to the serving acolyte, then a special ceremony is performed. Afterwards, the offerings must be brought to the top of the Golden Hills, where the goddess receives them happily. Despite these well-documented traditions, few are the bugs who have been allowed upon that holy summer. Cool, that's us. A statue built to honor the harvest goddess Venus. It has watched over the Golden Settlement since time immemorial, reminding citizens of the ever-present goddess who grants them a bountiful harvest without fail. Cool. And then there's the chomper that we just met. These vicious plants see bugs as meals and roam the golden region. They're always looking for their next snack, and tourists must be wary of them. Although they are small, they can quickly multiply if left alone. They must never be underestimated. Vise notes. We've read. Kabu's notes. Chompers. They reproduce quickly and eat voraciously with their sharp teeth. I will strike them down before they get healed by biting us. And Leaf says, This thing. It's kind of funny, isn't it? Just the way it dances. The little ones it summons are even funnier. Its bite heals it, though. We'll destroy it quickly with ice magic. Okay, I think that was the only new enemy that we encountered. Uh, technically, we did also encounter the uh, the acolyte, right? There she is. One of the Venus acolytes, Arya spends her time in the Golden Settlement, preaching the words of Venus herself. She prays in order to summon vines which she can use to attack or propel herself for a nasty kick. Yeah, we found that out the hard way. Vise notes, what the heck? You're telling me prayer lets Arya summon huge vines? Maybe I should start praying too. Meh, I'll just use my beamerang to hit her while she's up in the air. Hmm, so maybe we could have hit her with Vi instead of having to attack the Vine in that instance of the fight. That would have been cool. Uh, we've read Kabu's. Leaf says, Impressive. We thought Arya was just an obsessed preacher, but to be able to fight this well is commendable. Still, we'll make sure to freeze the Vines she summons. Okay. I think that's... Oh, and then the Venus Bud as well. According to Acolyte Arya, these sturdy plants are part of the Harvest Goddess Venus. They have amazing healing properties and will always support the denizens of the Golden Hills when possible. They can also shoot pollen, capable of making the liveliest of bugs fall to sleep. When angered, they are able to take flight and will shoot their pollen non-stop. They can even heal their own wounds as long as they are rooted. Their truly divine properties require further study. Hey, is this a Venus bud? But I saw them in a storybook once. I wonder if they drop any rare items. I could get rich for proving they're real. Why, <laughs> seriously. But maybe they'll get mad if I find out I heard it. Blah, less thinking, more fighting. These beings, they are similar to the goddess Venus. This hill is truly sacred ground. Still, the fact they fly when I strike them is a bit cruel. I need to get a weapon for these situations. Maybe you do. Uh, and then... After bonding as a team during the festival's events and upgrading Vi's Beamerang, the offerings were brought to Acolyte Aria. Sparring in the name of the goddess, the sun's rise marked the end of the festival. The path to the Golden Hills has opened. The artifact awaits. And on that note, that'll do it for now. I'm so glad to be back. Thank you all for being patient, and I will see you in the next part.